In currency forward contracts, underlying is obviously the currency rate or exchange rate. To understand currency forwards, you need to understand how the exchange rates are quoted. For example, assume that you are an Australian and Australian dollar is your domestic currency and you want to trade Australian dollar against US dollar. So if one US dollar is equivalent to 1.3 Australian dollar, then how they write the exchange rate? They write the exchange rate in this manner. They will put domestic currency in numerator and foreign currency in denominator. AUD 1.3 over USD. This is domestic and this is foreign. To make it simple to understand, foreign currency is set at 1 and we see that how many Australian dollars we need to buy one foreign currency. Now see the exchange rate from the perspective of the currency forward contract. So just like other contract, this is one currency forward contract formed on 30th December. One party is long, another party is short. Expiry is six months, 30th June 19. And this is the rate they have quoted. This is the underlying. Underlined is what? Australian dollar over USD. And this is the forward price they have quoted. 1.3 Australian dollar is equivalent to 1 USD dollar. So in the denominator is the foreign currency and in the numerator is the domestic currency. Now, for some of the students, it sounds really confusing that when you're buying one currency, you are selling another currency. Always remember, we will see long, which is buyer, and seller which is called short from the perspective of foreign currency long will buy usd1 for 1.3 australian dollar and short will sell usd1 for 1.3 dollar it means if anyone is buying usd then he and she must be selling australian dollar okay so if anyone wants to buy foreign currency then he and she should enter as a long position long position means buying foreign currency and selling domestic currency and opposite is true for short position short position means selling foreign currency and buying Australian dollar domestic currency with the currency exchange rate when you're buying one currency then you have to sell another currency to exchange it and just like other contract this exchange rate will be compared to the market exchange rate at the end of the expiry date at, at the execution date to see which party is in profit.